Right, so we're at 6,000 at flight level 60, and we'll be continuing to climb to our assigned cruise flight level of 240 for today, which is then pretty simple. So we're cleared to flight level 240. If we set it on the FCU, nothing happens. It's cool. And the plane is now in fly mode and optimal climb. Optimal climb is, is taken from the FMGS. And it's holding the speed that is set in the FMGS. Uh, this mountain 250 is the economical speed. And it is predicting that it will take us 8 minutes and 50 nautical miles to get to flight level 240. Uh, 250 is a default restriction up to flight level 100. Uh, so we'll suggest in a moment when we'll be passing flight level 100, the speed will change to optimal climb speed. And we can see that the speed is now automatically set to 326 knots. The thrust is the same, 87.8. .8. And we're reducing the attitude and vertical speed to increase our horizontal speed. And new economical speed is 3 to 6 knots or 0.73 Mach and it will take us 6 minutes to get to the flat level 240. Now we can also expedite, and in the FMGS we can see this uh, 4 minutes and 19 miles press expedite On the PFD it's now expedited climb and the plane is raising the nose and we'll try to, to keep the green dot speed and green dot speed is the minimum which is 204 knots. We're now climbing at 5,000 feet per minute, which is not economical, but might be required due to safety or hazards or volcanic ash or, or something like that. And expedite, if you push it, nothing happens, you have to pull it again and we're back in optimal fly. So this finishes the climb part, uh, we'll be leveling off at 240 and then continue with the cruise part of the flight. I'll review the ECAM and various settings that we can achieve. We're now in cruise mode to Frankfurt airport and in the FMGS on the performance page uh, we can see that we are in economical mode, we have 43 minutes to go and the estimated fuel on board at destination will be 6.8 tons. Uh, economical query speed is 310 knots and the uh, cost index is 35. So we can modify the cost index and it will modify the speed at which we will be going. Uh, in queries we also can look through uh, various other information which is in ECAM. In the ECAM page uh, we can see fuel use uh, in kilograms, oil quantity, vibrations if any in the engines. Uh, landing elevation set 350 feet and cabin altitude at the moment 3700 feet. We also can see temperature in the cockpit in the forward and aft compartments which is at 25 degrees and total air temperature 7 and gross weight 58 tons at the moment. Uh, if we can go to condition page 
We can see hot air coming in to all compartments, but it's now closed. If we set cockpit to very hot, this valve is now starting to open and hot air is coming directly from the engines into the cockpit. And you see the temperature at the moment and what is the air coming into the cockpit temperature. So we're getting very hot very fast. We set it back to normal and the valve is closed. So in this way we can regulate the temperature uh, throughout the flight. Uh, we can also monitor the fuel. So fuel used, fuel on board, uh, which tanks have how much fuel and what is the temperature of it. Hydraulic quantities, which do not change a lot during the flight. Pressure, if something is wrong, uh, we can open the valves, close the valves, regulate the pressure in the air. And bleed from engine one and engine two. So we have the packs and valves open. If we, for some reason, turn off the packs, we can see immediately wolf pressure is low, no hot air pumping through, and the cockpit will, would get really cold really fast. So we can check pack two also off. And going back to conditioning, the air pumping into the cabin is now 16 degrees. Fourteen degrees, and eventually it would get almost the same as the air temperature. If we would be higher, so we are not flight level two four zero, but normal cruise level is usually three four zero three six zero. Uh, we, we would have to descend to three four thousand feet immediately. And tax back on. And bleeds are coming back on. Temperature rising. And normal air is coming back in the cockpit.